Hi, everybody. Good evening. My name is Alan, and on behalf of the crew, I'd like to welcome you to another edition of Bridging Heaven and Earth. Uh, most of you have seen the show before, and I don't know if, you've, if a lot of you have seen the, the new opening with the, the music we have on it now. And the music was, was done specifically for that opening and specifically for that, that sequence of visuals by our guest tonight. And I think the, one of the important sequences in that is the joy of, of living and the joy of loving. And, and tonight, that's what really the show is about. And we have people with us tonight who, who exemplify that, inspire that, and make that real in their lives, and, and really do their best to bring that out in other people. We have with us a, a New World musician, an international recording artist, Omashar, who is the one who did the music for the, the opening, and it'll be on the closing at the end of the show. And he's going to do just a... I think about eight or nine songs tonight, and we're just basically turning the show over to Omashar, and, and he's been working with uh, a visual artist, uh, Walter Matheson, who has some extraordinary uh, uh, slides, and we put together a slideshow in conjunction with Omashar's music. So if, you, if any of you have uh, m televisions that you could plug in headsets with, plug them in, sit down, relax, just cool out, let this night carry you, because you're in for a night where really the joy of living and the joy of loving is, is going to be available. So I'm just tremendously excited and honored to be part of this show, and I hope that you enjoy it as much as we've enjoyed getting it together and as much as we're going to enjoy it here. So as we normally do at this time to, to set a tone for the show and to bring us all into, into a, a union together to, to have the experience we all want, please join me in a short meditation and then we'll have you know, Oma Shah's first set. So please join me. Okay, well, thank you. So now I'm going to turn over the, the show and the set to Omishar. His first song will be Kingdom of Gold, and then We Feel Love. And on the second song, we're going to show you the images of Walter Matheson, who's going to be with us later to talk. And then we're going <coughs> to have the song that's been on a promo we've been running all over Santa Barbara that's just been getting tremendous response. One, one heart, one mind, and one soul. So it's just going to be fantastic. So please join with us in the love of tonight. So, Omishar. Well, good evening, everybody, and thank you for joining us. And it is an honor to be on Bridging Heaven and Earth. And thank you, Alan, for inviting me and uh, my friend Walter to be with you tonight. And thank you, studio audience. Yes, we do have a studio audience here. And there are many of them, hundreds over there. My goodness, this is the hugest studio audience we've ever had. And that is really cool. Um, I will introduce each song with a, a brief something. I'm, I'm, I, I choose to know what that brief something will be. Um, labels are very interesting. I have been called a New Age musician and, and many other things um, possibly even nicer than that. And however, I... I uh, I find labels very, uh, um, they don't really say who the person truly is. Uh, for instance, um, I don't really think that I'm a new age musician. I'm simply a person who experiences and, and attempts to write experiences in, in music. It's that this music is not spiritual. Uh, however, it's not not spiritual, because if you say that something's spiritual, well, then something can not be spiritual as well. It's the, it's the duality. And uh, anyway, I'm going <laughs> to carry on here with Kingdom of Gold, which is a song just recently written, probably about four or five weeks ago, and uh, finished for this show. And it, it speaks of a time of purity, and by kingdom, I, I, I chose that word very consciously. I usually don't write in, in what I now term a sexist 
uh, language. However, this comes from a place where uh, Guinevere and uh, Arthur legends came from, and I found, found there was a purity in that, and hence I used the word kingdom. I, I, I found it very wonderful. So here we go. Great. This song now is uh, called We Feel Love, the next song, and is, it is my dolphin song. I, w I was going to call it my swan, swan song, but it hasn't got a, a, a word in it about swans. 
Um, this was one of the last songs I wrote when I last lived in Mount Shasta. And um, as I was writing it, I just had images of dolphins and waves and interstellar communication and all sorts of cosmic things that we can't talk about on this show. And uh, so here it is, and we have the beautiful images of Walter Matheson uh, accompanying this song. So possibly you won't see me for a while. Bye. depths of your being Know that all is well Dive into the deepest ocean And see the truth Show 
that you're ready and willing to make the change. We're coming home to the part of us that's waking. And we know deep inside of us we've got a friend we remember the design of our lives we remember desire in our hearts and we feel love and we feel Well, that was lovely, wasn't it? <laughs> I always enjoy singing that song. It, it, um, for some reason, music is the one thing that really grounds me and, and brings me in my body. It is my, is my passion and my joy. And very often I deny that uh, in the past, of course, not now. <laughs> so here we go with One Heart, One Mind, One Soul. It's a, uh, a lovely little ditty. Um, it has a, um, a, a rhythmic thing behind it, which was based actually retrospectively on a, uh, um, a Marvin Gaye song, Sexual Healing. And the song's nothing like that, whereas in essence it possibly really is. However, the, the, the drum track that is behind it is very similar, and it just has that, 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 that sensual feeling in it, um, apart from being an awesomely wonderful song. So, enough self stuff here. Okay. So, please tap your feet and things like that. Give me your blessing. 
Thank you all, Michelle. That was beautiful. So I'm sitting with, with the image man, Walter Matheson. Hi, Walter. Thanks for, thanks for coming. Thanks for letting us view your images. Thanks, Alan. So how did you and Omashar get to put that music with your images? How did that, that collaboration happen? Well, Omashar and I have uh, been associated with each other for a couple of years and uh, known each about each other's talents, uh, me being aware of his music, and he's seen me do some slide presentations uh, with other musicians. So we had a, an inspiration to collaborate for the first time uh, with his music and my pictures. So, I mean, it, it, photography at this point you would say is like in the external world one of your passions and one of your ways of expressing love and... Very much so. Uh, photography is certainly one of, one of my passions right. in life and it's really an honor for me to he be. He got married December 31st, so I know he's got another passion. <laughs> they can barely keep their hands off either. Oh, <laughs> well, it's really an honor for me to be here on Bridging in Heaven and Earth because for me, photography represents a medium for doing that. It's, a, um, it's something that I do here you know, on the Earth plane, but what I'm attempting to do with my images is to by putting them in sequence, taking pictures of, of scenery and people and how they're interacting with nature, and then putting them together in a sequence with music, I'm hoping to elicit a uh, remembrance inside of people as they're viewing it, who they are in their essence, in their spirit origin. Okay, so I think we're going to see two more of your image sequences with, with different ones of Omashar's songs mm -hmm. later. And now, I, actually, I'd like to give Omashar a chance to talk about something that he said he couldn't say on the show, so he's got four minutes to talk about yeah, what you said you couldn't say on the show. So, Omashar? <laughs> um, yes. <laughs> well, what didn't um, you think you could talk about on the show? Well, luckily I've forgotten what it was, so uh, I think we're all going to have to be held in suspense. Um, I have the, the, the current pleasure and joy of, of living uh, in northern New Mexico, and uh, I live at about 8,000 feet, give or take a foot or two. And uh, I live with my um, beloved friend who's in the audience here, Matea. And our neighbors are coyotes and ravens and uh, snakes, which are very underground at the moment because it's jolly cold there. And um, birds, we've just built a bird table and uh, we feed the birds, we feed the rabbits, we, we see very, very few people. And what that gives me is, is, is the time to really sink into myself. And when I sink into myself, uh, I, I'll go back a little bit. We are surrounded by hundreds of thousands of acres of sagebrush and uh, beautiful mountains and, and so few neighbors uh, that it's not even worth mentioning, even though, of course, they're beautiful people. 
the ones that are there. W what it allows me is, is the time and space to hear myself. Uh, and what I've found is that what I'm hearing is that um, the shift that we are all waiting for started happening maybe two or three years ago. I mean, let's forget the linear time thing here. It's, it's already here and present with us. And the only thing that's stopping us from uh, walking in our passion is, is, is simply our, our beliefs that there's, there's nothing, nothing in the way anymore, absolutely nothing. And it, it, it seems um, challenging when I enter a city location to, in the past, to feel that, that connection. And, and I have, uh, I, I travel a lot, or I, I have traveled a lot. Uh, in the last three months I have m taken a sabbatical, so to speak, and, and more and more each day I have found that uh, the shores of the consciousness that we are, are are not only lapping across our hearts, they've washed over and, and we're, we're com completely immersed in it. And so well, what I'm saying now is, is, is there's nothing to wait for, there's, there's nothing to look for, it's, it's happening, it's here now, the shift is with us. Um, and that's what my music is about: is 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 enabling to step people uh, people to step out of concept uh, and into their feeling body. You know, concept and teachings have got us to where we are now, and now we can put them aside and step into a greater truth of who we are. And I think that is possibly what I forgot that I was going to say that I just did say. And um, it's time for a song from my album called "The Flower of Life," and it is "The Flower of Life," the title track. And thank you very much for watching.
Isn't that a beautiful album cover, hey? <laughs> Must be, that's one of mine. <laughs> Sometimes I feel at a loss for words that the magnitude of what I feel happening within me uh, defies any explanation whatsoever. In the past few months, and of course most of my life till this point, but especially the past few months I've had to come to terms with abandonment and separation, and worthiness, and all sorts of fun emotions, if we can call them emotions. And uh, ver very often um, uh, I'm at a, lot, a loss for words as to how, to how to express it to anybody. However, um, this song that I'm playing now is called Trust to Love. And uh, it is, was written in the, point, in the, in the most squeezed point um, of one of those experiences. And so, uh, as I r am trusting to love, and I'm breathing and realizing that there is only my experience, and, and that's all, and how I, r how I react uh, to that, then uh, I start becoming more present here. Trust to love.
Walking through these fields of fear that bid for my attention, I don't live here anymore. I surrender to the flow that gives me new direction. All that's left to do is trust. This current song that is about to be played is called Shine On, and it's one of my more recent favorites. And this is a, a, a direct result of watching ravens fly around the valley in northern New Mexico, where I live. Ravens, I, I am led to believe, are scouts. It was, it was the first bird that was put out of the ark, of course, Noah, before the dove. And uh, the raven apparently never came back. Uh, and then they sent the dove out and the dove came back because the dove's, you know, not so independent, perhaps. Whatever. So this is called Shine On. And also in the area that I live, there's a lot of Native American presence. There's a beautiful Pueblo close by. And so this has some Native American drumming in the background. And I tend to, um, you know, tap my feet. And uh, the, the thousands of people that have now appeared in the studio audience <clears throat> I, I just, they're all standing up and they're going to dance. It's a shame that you can't see it because it's so beautiful. Hey, so here we go. <clears throat> Where we go? Somewhere.
Fantastic. Thank you. So, before we turn uh, the rest of the show over to uh, the, the magical gifts of Omashore and Walter, I'd like to thank them both for coming. Walter, thank you for coming. And Thanks, Alan. Omashore, thank you for coming. And I'd like to thank all you out there for who, who have been so kind to, to the show Bridging Heaven and Earth and your calls and your, your letters and it's, it's really just, it's, it's just an inspiration for, for myself and the crew and everybody involved with the show to just, you know, hear how, how much the show affects you and, and how much it means to you. And, I mean, we'll talk about it another time. I mean, this show is basically over. But, you know, I, I want to thank all the people involved in all the cities. I mean, we're, we're basically in cities across the country and all over California now. And in every city, there's someone helping us do it, and there, and there are studio people there who, who use all their efforts to make the show as beautiful as possible. So I want to thank you from the set and personally and from the crew. And also, uh, you know, again, if anybody uh, or when people want to find out about where Walter is showing his work or, or Omar Shah is playing or about the, the albums and tapes and CDs that Omar Shah has and when he's giving seminars or leading workshops, please call me at 805-687-2053. That's all over the country, anywhere. 
805-687-2053. Actually, I just got an 800 number, but I forgot it. So, But it runs on the credits at the end of the show. So if you want, you can call that number, and any information you need will get to you. So again, thank you for coming, and we're going to turn the rest of the show over to Omishar and Walter. They're going to do a song, Precious One. We're going to see uh, Walter's images, and Omishar is going to sing, and then we're going to end with... Uh, J the John Lennon song, Imagine. So thank you for coming. God bless you, and, and we're glad you came. Thank you. And I'm glad you're still here. Thank you very much. This song, uh, Precious One, uh, when I was a little boy last week, I um, had a beautiful melody that my uh, parents used to play me, and it was called uh, Lullaby by Brahms. And it's just a very, very simple um, piano piece. I was brought up as a, a classical pianist, and then I became a, um, a, 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 a rock star, and now I'm, um, um, well, define me. You can do it. <coughs> I dare you. And uh, so this song is called Precious One, and it has that very, very simple structure. And I'm very blessed, and thank you very much, Walter, for putting the energy and effort you did into this awesome slide presentation. And I look forward to future collaborations with you. So, so, what? Here we go. This is a song I felt very appropriate, and we may have to cut it short, but hey, the energy's there.
Hold tight for 